Hey Hunters, Lord here, back with another Monster Hunter World Iceborne Endgame Set video. Today's video is going to be covering the best sets for Lance, and it will include a Pre-Fatalis set that will be available to you right after beating the main story, an Elemental Lance set, a Max DPS Raw Lance set, and finally my favorite set, the Unkillable Infinite Health Tank. Now before we jump into it, I just want to say that the goal of my videos is not to tell you how to play or to force you to play in the way that I do but rather to give you some inspiration to build the set that's right for you. Now you may like a skill or weapon or armor piece that I didn't personally use in this video, and it's totally okay for you to tweak my sets to fit your own preferences. Just remember that it's a game and you should play in the way that makes it enjoyable for you. Also, for the last month, over 90% of people watching my content aren't subscribed. So if you do end up enjoying the video or find the sets helpful, I'd ask that you consider subscribing to my channel for more Monster Hunter content just like this. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the sets. First up is our Pre-Fatalis set that's going to be available as early as Master Rank 24. The weapon is the Raging Bracky Lance. Mine is personally augmented for attack and health, but you can of course swap that out if you'd like. The armor is going to be 3 pieces of Tiastra and 2 pieces of Raging Bracky. Now this set hits really hard, gets 100% crit on tenderized weak spots during enrages, so coupling that with the 3 pieces of Tiastra for Master's Touch means that sharpness shouldn't be much of an issue. Now the shield jewel that you see in the arms isn't entirely necessary, only if the monster that you're hunting has a particularly hard hitting attack, much like the Tiastra Supernova or Shara Ishvalda's Laser Beam. Now this was our max DPS meta set until Fatalis was released. So, this set should have no issues carrying you through the endgame monsters here in Iceborne. The second set I've prepared for you guys is an elemental set. Now, Lance doesn't scale extremely well with element in world, so this isn't going to be that much better than the raw sets, and it will really only exceed the raw sets by a little bit on extremely elemental weak matchups. Now, for the weapon, we'll mostly be using Kiar, although for fire or dragon, there may be better alternatives. We're going to be using 5 pieces of Safajiva armor, as well as the elemental attack up charm for your element of choice. Now the weapon should be augmented for maximum element, but if you instead decide to opt for a health regen augment, you can just swap in challenger decos to get agitator instead of the fury decos for resentment, and that should work great. Again, this isn't going to be much better than raw on your elemental weak matchups, but I want you guys to have the option to make this set if you'd like. Now up next is our maximum DPS Fatalis set. The true Fatalis Lance is augmented for health and affinity, then we have 4 pieces of Fatalis armor and the Rhymeguard Greaves Gamma. We get max attack skill, crit eye, agitator, guard, weakness exploit, critical boost, offensive guard, and peak performance, meaning we have some insane damage and very strong guarding capabilities. This set is basically as good as it gets for Lance as far as DPS without going into certain speedrunning tactics like heroics. Now the Divine Blessing combination decorations are my personal preference, so you can change that out for some other quality of life skill if you'd prefer that instead. Now finally we have my personal favorite set, which is an unkillable infinite life lance. For this one you'll need a Safajiva lance with the Val Solvane Awaken and at least one health augment, here's mine for example. You're then going to combine that with the Fatalis head, chest, waist, and legs, and the Black Veil Valhazak arms. Now this gives us the Valhazak Hidden Skill, which allows us to regenerate health even beyond the red gauge. We've got over 100% affinity, maximum agitator, as well as all the health boosting skills like recovery up and recovery speed. Now personally, as you can see, I have Heat Guard in mine right now as I was hunting Tiastra and didn't want his fire to tick down my health over time, but you could of course slot in another handicraft decoration in the waste instead. This set has ultimate survivability, as even if you get hit, you can regain all your health without even attacking with your health regen weapon. This set can guard through everything, as you saw in the opening montage, even Lava Pools and Tiastra's Supernova attack are no match for this set. Do note that it won't guard through everything, like Safi's nuke will kill you still, so don't just try to guard it with this set. Just felt like I needed to say that, just in case. Anyway. Hopefully one of these sets caught your eye and gave you some inspiration for your next Lance set. If it did and you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to my channel, new to Monster Hunter, or if you just liked what you saw today and you're looking for more, do consider subscribing to the channel. I've already covered a ton of weapons and endgame stuff for World and Iceborne in my previous videos, and if you want to see even more, the best way to make sure you don't miss that is to be subscribed. 
Now, with all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video, for all the crazy support on the channel, and I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.